What's next? How about an adult with ADHD or a person who has many great ideas and can't focus on one of them or lacks focus on one of them? Just, I have all these great ideas and things I want to do and unfortunately Sometimes I leave a couple undone and the most successful idea I had and keep doing is just posting a video a day on YouTube Very little editing sometimes no editing just putting it on with the idea that I just Want to post something And let you know ideas flow off the top of my head and of course because this has been so successful since I've gotten a few subscribers, which honestly, it was never my goal. My goal was just to do it, to post something, to leave something out there in the world, kind of leave my mark, go forward, spread my ideas, but really never expecting it to pick up by anybody. And so, because it, for me, I had a very low, <laughs> low mark, uh, since you know people are actually responding to me I decided to change it up and try to produce a little bit more quality videos rather just having it posting One video a day. I want to post one quality video a day And I think maybe leave myself a couple of options to put just to post musings off the top of my head and use the date as musings and then use the quality videos with you know, a nice quality header, a nice quality thumbnail. I'm not sure. I'm just, I'm still experimenting with this. <coughs> but the other problem I have is that I keep, I have all these little projects. One was to fix my lawnmower, which didn't go very well. Another was to plant some seeds for summer, which unfortunately it is almost June now. I haven't planted any, but I have put soil into pots. I'm still going to put the seeds in. I mean, I have all these seeds that I had planned to plant, so I'm just going to do it now. And, you know, since the seeds are going to go in, I'm going to grow my plants. And then, any once the seeds are done, once the seeds are put in the soil, I'm going to count that as a success. The lawnmower, I took it apart, get everything all nice, and then what I thought was working, put it back together again. And with that, it still won't start. And that's, you know. In other words, I have a, a video camera I had bought, an older video camera that um, had bad batteries. So I bought the new battery, I got another lens for it, but I have to start using that to, you know, to film some videos. So that's gonna be a next, I'm gonna have to, I guess the idea of, an adult with ADHD is only a, a label and you, you can't just f rely on the label you have to figure yourself okay I have all these great ideas I have to put them in a place and give myself a goal and say I'm gonna achieve this by this point it's like have a notebook where you put these goals for yourself and make them attainable don't give yourself a, a small window. Give yourself a, a good window, a few days. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start writing down my ideas, give myself a window, and like in regula regulatory, you have your hard set date, you have your, you know, review date, have your you know, getting input date, so basically, you have a few dates to get to the hard set date, so maybe that's all I'll do. I'll give myself a, you know, collect the ideas, purify the ideas, you know, get them all condensed into a good idea, and then finally finish. And then give myself, and if I don't, if I don't achieve my finish date, then I can still extend it. I think that's a good idea to help me maintain focus on all my great ideas, because honestly, Every idea is a great idea. You just have to put them into action. So if you have a lot of ideas, if you have a lot of halfway completed projects, you have to give yourself a goal date 
just to it, you know, and don't make it ridiculous because if you don't achieve it, you can't beat yourself up. You have to give your goal date that's something that, okay, I have a potential of achieving it, and if I don't achieve it, I can extend it, you know. You know, we may have been getting at least 50% down at this point and then, and then going to the next date for the next, next 75% down, you know, that sort of thing. Give yourself a few parameters and then I always give you the option that, okay, this project is unfortunately not going to work out, so I have to cut my, you know, cut it off and move on to the next project. That way you can move, work on multiple projects with multiple dates in the future and still you know, look them over again. This mostly is from my own thought process because I do have a lot of projects, a lot of ideas that I started but then get mis, you know, misaligned, misfocused because I do have a real job. I, I'm sorry, not a real job. I have a nine to five job that I do daily and sometimes the real world kind of puts your home jobs on the back burner, you know, your family life, which again kind of delays things. But these projects, you know, they might be great ideas. You just have to learn to hash them out. Give yourself time to hash them out. Give yourself time, but you also have to give yourself a goal. So if you don't reach this, you have to figure out where you want to go from there rather than just letting it sit half finished. Again, this is for me to talk. This is basically an idea that I'm trying to hash out for myself because I mean summer has hit and my plan was to get all of these things mostly started so that I could finish during the summer and even the, the plants themselves the seeds were supposed to be planted in early spring so that they'd be you know at a good size so that I could plant them in the garden so I could start a garden but rather than just cutting ties entirely I says okay I'm still gonna plant these seeds Still gonna just go through it, you know, get them started at least, and hope for the best. And I can't beat myself up too much because this has been a really weird spring where, you know, it's been, you know, snowy and chilly longer and just weird things have been happening. And, you know, my job, you know, I had a, my job's shifted focus a few times, so it's kind of caused me to lose my focus on what I find important and, you know, kind of beat myself up on failing this and that. But that's the thing. You have to make goals that are achievable so that you can get, you know, positive sense of esteem and then goals that are a little bit beyond your capability, just something to strive for. And then goals that are really, really difficult. You can't give yourself one goal. You have to give yourself, you know, benchmarks. So when you achieve the difficult, it makes you feel really good. When you achieve the easy, you still are accomplishing something. So, you know, small goals, big goals, and then almost impossible goals. And the most impossible goals will make you feel really good about yourself, give you a lot of high self-esteem, but also you won't beat yourself up for not achieving them. But these are just my ideas and how I can help focus myself, make myself a better person internally rather out externally. I mean, I've, I've achieved a lot in the past even year, let alone few years. I have, I really feel good about myself finally. Really, most times, even when I falter, when things fall apart, when things, you know, when I normally would just break down and get angry and, you know, Want, want to smash things. I don't anymore. I just stop, listen to myself compassionately, and figure a path forward. But now that I have all these half projects, I'm looking at going, wait a second, I either got to throw these away or get them done or do something with them. But then there's other part of me says, hey, these are great ideas. Kind of like the hoarder died inside of me says, hey, we have to keep this. But there's a point where you have to scrap it. You, have to, you say, okay, does this have potential or does this not have potential? Does this make me happy or does not make, does this make you not happy? That's kind of like a Japanese thing, how to clean your life up. But at the end, you have to find things that, that really are good for your life, things that make you happy and move forward from there. Because we try to be our best selves. And as we work and go walking through life, 
find things that help you achieve your best self. But it's my ideas. I welcome anyone else's ideas. And if you find myself, my content interesting, subscribe. If you find myself challenging or, or disagree with me, please comment, please critique me, please rub me to pieces because I like to hear that kind of information because I really want to better myself. And I, pay, I take no one's opinion as an insult. I take everything as a, a way of achieving my better self. And that's all we can all uh, strive for, to be our best self. What's your ideas? What's next? <laughs>